So moving on with graphing rational functions, reviewing the steps one more time. We've covered how to do the y-intercept, the x-intercept, the domain, which really focuses on the vertical asymptotes. So now we're moving on to how to find the end behavior, and how does the horizontal or oblique asymptote fit in with that. So let's review what the end behavior means. It means what's happening at the very end of the graph, meaning what's happening at the very right end of the graph, or a symbol that you'll be seeing in your calculus class, or um, if you're already in your calculus class, your symbol that you'll be seeing very soon is x approaches infinity. And what's happening at the very left end of the graph, meaning as x is approaching negative infinity. X approaching infinity, meaning X getting larger and larger and larger at the right hand of the graph, and X approaching negative infinity, meaning X getting smaller and smaller and smaller, meaning the left end of the graph. Since we're in the rational equations video, the way to find the end behavior is by what I call the face case. And I'll show you why I call that a face case here in a second. Okay? The way the face case works is we look at the polynomial in the numerator and we compare its degree to the polynomial that we have in the denominator. And when I compare those two things, that will tell me what case I'm going to be looking at. Now the answers here are going to be in the format of an equation. Most likely they'll be in the form of a line, either a horizontal line or a slanted line, but they can actually take any shape. They can be quadratic, cubic, or anything higher than that. Just most often we see them as linear. Again, straight horizontal or slanted as what we call the oblique asymptote. So let's move on to what the actual face case is. I call it a case because I have three different cases here. I can either be in my first, my second, or my third instance, or my third case. And that's why I call it the face case. And the reason that I assign faces to these is because how much work that we actually have to do. If we are in happy face case, we have absolutely no work whatsoever, and we are just guaranteed to see what our answer is. If we are in middle face case, we have a very limited amount of work to do. And if we are in sad face case, that means we actually have quite a bit of work to do. So when you're looking at these problems and they're asking you for your end behavior, you hope for the happy or the middle face case. No matter what case we end up with, we start the exact same way. We look at the degrees of the numerator compared to the degrees of the denominator. What puts us in happy face case is when the degree of my numerator is less than the degree of my denominator. When that happens, that gives us a horizontal asymptote, a horizontal line that our graph follows, and it's automatically going to be at y equals zero, meaning this horizontal line is going to land on our x-axis. So sometimes it's hard to draw exactly on our x-axis, so I draw it just slightly above so we can actually see it. And we'll see examples of this here in a minute. In the middle face case is when the degree of my numerator is equivalent to my denominator. That also gives me a horizontal asymptote, which is drawn the same way as my first one here. What we need to do is we need to look at the leading coefficient of the numerator and the leading coefficient of the denominator. So for review, coefficient means the numbers in front of the variables, and the leading coefficient is the number in front of the variable with the highest exponent, the one in front of our degree. And again, we'll see examples of this in a minute. All right, what we don't hope for is sad face case. That happens when our degree of our numerator is larger than the degree of our denominator. That's going to give us a oblique or a slanted asymptote. Again, these are typically drawn as linear lines, either going up or going down, just like we saw with the linear equations before. And the way that we find these is we actually have to do long division, polynomial division. So we long divide our numerator by our denominator. 
Now, most likely when we do this work, it's not going to come out even. It's going to give us a remainder down here, but that doesn't matter. We throw it away. Whatever we get up here, which is the answer or the quotient, that is going to be our oblique or slanted asymptote. So we put it in the format of y equals that quotient, and that's what we're going to draw as that dotted line. That's going to give us our asymptote, which our graph is going to follow. So now that I've outlined all of these, let's start to see an example. And I'm going to work the same example that I've worked in the last set of videos in finding our y and x intercepts, finding our vertical asymptotes, and now we're going to work on it finding the end behavior. So again, we look at the degrees. The degree of my numerator, my highest exponent is 2. The degree of my denominator, my highest exponent is 2. So that puts us in middle face case. That gives us a horizontal asymptote. So again, you're going to figure out which case you're in by looking at the degrees, and the face tells you how much work we're going to do. So that's why I call it the face case. So our answers are always in the format of y equals, because these are always equations that we're going to graph. And since we're in middle face case, we look at the leading coefficients, meaning the numbers in front of these highest degrees. So my number in front of the numerator is 3, and my number in front of the denominator is 4. Those are my leading coefficients. I just have to divide them, 3 fourths. As always, if you can simplify it, you would, but in this case, I cannot. So I'm going to draw this horizontal dotted line at 3 fourths. This is where I'm going to stop this video. In the next video, I'm going to put all of these together in this specific example, my y-intercept, x-intercept, vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote. And I'm actually going to sketch this graph utilizing all of the information that I found in this in the last couple of videos.